Hello friends, in this session we will complete the exchange rates and forex businesses of BFM unit 1 part 2. So friends, in a previous video we have learned some basics about the foreign exchange rates and the forex businesses. So in this module, uh, in this lesson, very important we are going to see the important concepts which are very very important and along with that we are going to study some numericals also so friends let's see what is the exchange rate the exchange rate it is nothing but the the rate at which one currency is exchanged for other very simple exchange name itself it is the we are exchanging one currency for other currency that is nothing but the exchange rate say for example 1 us dollar is equal to 66.45 indian rupees that means we are exchanging 1 dollar with 66.45 rupees that is the exchange rate okay now there are some variants of the exchange rates there are some variants of the exchange rates so what are that variants see friends very first is the direct rate indirect rate second buying rate selling rate and third spot rate or uh, or or the forward rate that means there are different variants of the exchange rates that means when you are going to exchange the currency what rate you will uh, give what rate you will quote that we are going to see in detail so before that what is the value date so friends you will see the word value date in the different numerical so for uh, conceptual understanding the value date it is nothing but the actual date it is the actual date of delivery it is the actual date of delivery of the currency or the fund under the sale or the purchase that means it is the in simple word it is the settlement date just remember value date it is the actually a settlement date or we can say it is the actual date of delivery of the currency very simple okay value date it is nothing but the settlement date so friends next what is the direct rate what is the direct rate what is direct or what is indirect rate that we have to study see friends what is direct rate direct rate it is quoted as fixed unit of foreign currency fixed unit of foreign currency and variable unit of home currency very very simple in direct rate foreign currency is fixed and home currency is variable okay for example 1 us dollar is equal to 66.51 rupees that means what we can say for 1 us dollar that means one it is fixed that means foreign currency is fixed and we are wearing the indian currency or it uh, after some time we can say 1 dollar is equal to tomorrow it will become 66.75 rupees that means our home currency is varying and foreign currency is fixed so that's why remember it is the direct rate or we can easily uh, remember direct dollar just remember direct dollar so one dollar is equal to some uh, 75 rupees that is nothing but the direct rate in direct rate uh, fixed is the foreign currency they may ask one liner mcq for example in direct rate foreign currency is fixed option b foreign currency is variable option c indian that is home currency is fixed option uh, fourth they may give the home currency is variable so in this fashion they can frame which of the following is true so you have to remember uh, in direct trade the uh, foreign currency is fixed whereas the home currency is varying okay in other words what we can say from that the domestic currency per unit of a foreign currency that means for one unit of a foreign currency how much you will get the domestic currency that is nothing but the direct rate in india direct rate is used for most of the currency remember in india we are generally using almost uh, the direct rate only okay there is one maxim or you can say there is one rule what is that rule in a direct quote in a direct rate there is rule that buy low and sell high it is the common sense rule you should buy at low price and sell at the high price it is the rule or the principle in the direct rate remember friend in a direct rate we have to buy at a low price and sell at the high price okay just like a business okay now uh, what is the indirect rate 
indirect rate is just opposite of the direct rate in 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 the, in the indirect rate it is quoted as the fixed unit of home currency and variable unit of the foreign currency that means it is just opposite of the direct rate okay uh, in indirect rate our home currency is fixed in indirect rate just remember in in for india so 1 in, uh, indian rupees is equal to 0.13 us dollar or we can say 100 indian rupees is equal to 1.37 us dollar in stands for indian so indian rupees value we are taking as a first so in indirect rate our home currency is fixed remember that unit that 100 or 1 it is fixed and we are varying the unit of the foreign currency for example dollar we are varying that means we can say the foreign currency per unit of the home currency the foreign currency per unit of the home currency okay i think direct and indirect is very very important basic you have understood in a direct we are taking one dollar is equal to 75 rupees and in indirect we are taking uh, one rupee is equal to 0 0.13 dollar in in this fashion you have to remember direct and indirect just remember one you can easily remember uh, other just remember direct one dollar is equal to 75 rupees it is direct so you can remember easily indirect also so in indirect rate in indirect code there is a principle what is that that principle is that in uh, indirect we have studied indirect what we have studied buy low sell high and vice versa in case of indirect we have to remember it is just vice versa in indirect it is the sell at low and buy high so in indirect we have to buy high and sell at the low this is the maxim we can say principle or the rule in 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 case of the indirect rate okay friends now our next uh, point is we have to study is the buying rates remember friends uh, you may have heard the word tt buying tt selling that we are going to see detail in this chapter see friends what is the buying rate when we have to apply the buying rate when the foreign uh, we are receiving the foreign currency when the foreign currency is coming to india or we are receiving the foreign currency that time we have to apply buying rate remember that is very very important when to apply foreign currency when foreign currency is coming to us that means we are receiving the foreign currency that time we have to apply the buying rate remember friends it is used for inflow of the foreign currency that means the bank receives the foreign currency and in that return we deliver the indian rupees okay for example purchase of foreign currency export bill or the cancellation of the foreign currency dd issued by the bank see friends uh, uh, purchase of foreign currency export bill that means uh, when exporter will send some uh, goods to the other country in that return he will receive some foreign currency in in a return of the export what he will do he will deposit that foreign currency with the bank that means we are receiving the foreign currency that's why it is the we have to apply the buying rate okay uh, next is the cancellation of the foreign currency dd issued by the bank suppose we have issued a dd of a uh, five dollar and when we are cancelling the dd that means that uh, foreign currency money is receiving to the bank that is the foreign currency is uh, coming to the bank that's why it is the we have to apply the buying rate okay this is very very important while solving the numericals or the case study you can say next is the selling rate selling rate is just opposite of the buying rate friends see friends what is the selling rate see very very simple very very easy just opposite when the foreign currency is going out that is we are delivering the foreign currency that time we have to apply for a selling rate that means it is used for the outflow of the foreign currency for example that means the bank delivers the foreign currency outflow means going away that is bank delivering the foreign currency and we are receiving in that return the indian currency okay for example see issue of the foreign currency dd that means we are giving uh, a foreign currency dd to a customer if you are giving a dd of a five dollar to the customer that means you are delivering the foreign currency that means foreign currency is going away from you that means that is the selling rate very very simple or a second example import bill on behalf of importer that is the payment of imp uh, foreign currency import bill that means if suppose a customer is importing some goods to the india uh, and uh, when he import uh, goods 
from the suppose uh, china the chinese people will demand the currency uh, suppose a customer is uh, importing some goods from usa so uh, that uh, that uh, party from the usa will demand money in usa in a uh, usa currency that is the dollar that means we are we are delivering the dollar we are delivering the dollar that means the foreign currency is going away from us that is we are delivering that is nothing but the we have to apply the selling rate so i think the basic difference between buying and selling is very much clear to you in case of buying when there is foreign currency is coming to us we are receiving foreign currency apply buying rate in case of selling rate when the foreign currency is going away or we are delivering the foreign currency that time you have to apply the selling rate okay friends now see what is the what is the spread one important concept spread spread or a margin what is the spread or the margin see friends the difference between buying rate and selling rate it is called as the spread or it is also called as the margin the spread or the margin it is nothing but the difference between the buying rate and the selling rate they may ask one liner uh, mcq um, for example in case of buying rate uh, if we are delivering the foreign currency which rate you will apply so delivering that is selling rate they may ask in case of inflow of a foreign currency which rate you apply so buying rate in this fashion they can frame a mcq so next is the spread or a margin that is the difference between the buying rate and the selling rate very very simple and remember spread is also called as the trading margin that is margin spread is also called as the margin or also called as the trading margin okay next concept we have to study what is the fixed rate and what is the floating rate that we have already know we are working in a bank so you must have uh, heard of the fixed rate and the floating rate very simple fixed rate is uh, generally fixed by the monetary monetary authority and who is the monetary authority in india it is the rbi okay and they are pegged to one or more currency that means uh, generally it is clubbed for the one or more currency or uh, next is the floating rate what is the floating rate that we all know and uh, in india the floating rate concept was adopted in 1993 and that uh, floating rate is generally decided by the demand and supply that means we are observing our how the interest rate are uh, changing due to the demand and supply of the money that is basically a fixed rate is fixed by monetary authority and the floating rate is the adopted by india in 1993 since 1993 we are using the floating rate concept in in the foreign exchange right now we are using only the floating rate remember in a foreign exchange we are right now only using the floating rate not the fixed rate so this is the very first sheet of our uh, uh cib bfm exchange rate now we will move to the very very important part very very important part we have to study so friends see here what is the spot rate what are the tom rate what is the different types of rate that we have to study very uh, very first uh, see friends what is the uh, ready rate see here what is the cash rate or ready rate uh, when when there is the settlement on the same day for example support suppose you have uh, sent uh, uh, this pen suppose you have sent this pen to from uh, india to usa right and you are sending this goods today and today you are receiving the money also that means uh, the whole things or the settlement happen on the same day that is called as the cash rate and the rate we will apply here which rate or it is called as the cash rate or the ready rate very simple that is simple t plus 0 that is that is today plus 0 that is the same day settlement when the settlement happen that means whole transaction is happening in a same day that is called as the cash rate or the ready rate for example uh, you have done some contract on uh, 12th of january that is a friday and uh, uh, we have got a delivery on the january 12 itself that means the same day the things is happening we have to say that it is the cash cash or the ready rate okay now what if happen it is tomorrow for example see if the settlement happens tomorrow that means if you have sent goods to usa today and you are receiving the money tomorrow that means on a next day you are receiving t tom stands for tomorrow tom stands for tomorrow okay and a tom rate is nothing but the tomorrow rate that means you are entering on the contract suppose on a friday and you and and the next day you have to Uh, you will uh, receive the delivery that is the final delivery of the money that means 
uh, see friends suppose you have today done a contract and tomorrow you will receive the money that means it is called as the tom rate okay that is also called as the tomorrow is nothing but the today plus one that is t plus one day very very easy just remember tomorrow stands for tom and in case of holiday there we have to exclude the holiday for example if you ent enter in the contract or you have done the settlement on the uh, you have entered in the contract on the 12th of january and if it is a friday then your tom date will not be on a saturday or sunday tom tom should be tomorrow but as there is a holiday for the uh, 13th and 14th as a saturday sunday your delivery date or settlement final date will be january 15th okay so we have to exclude the holiday in all the days okay now if what if it happen at the next day after tomorrow what is t plus 2 that is today plus two days very very easy that is called as the spot rate for example if you are entered in the contract on the 12th of january it is a friday right so saturday sunday will be holiday and after that two days that means 13 14 you will get a holiday 13 14 you will get a holiday and after that two days you have to uh, add that means spot rate that means a day after tomorrow so plus two plus two day after tomorrow so on 16th of january you have to remember it is the for the delivery date so friends very easy you have to remember what you have to remember in a very easy way just remember ready or cash that means today itself ready the name ready itself ready that means to we are ready to pay on the uh, settlement uh, on the contract date itself what is tomorrow that means today we are uh, in entering in the contract and tomorrow we will uh, settle the transaction what is a spot 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 is also called as tt day that means tomorrow plus tomorrow that is 2t that's why that is nothing but the tomorrow of tomorrow spot rate it is also called as the tt rate tt rate or tt date you can say uh, spot is nothing but the t plus 2 or tt the when you say tt you have to remember double t that is the t plus 1 t plus 1 you will get t plus 2 right that is spot is nothing but the day after tomorrow right so when you enter in the contract on uh, so today you will receive the payment or the final settlement will be t plus two days that is day after tomorrow so tom for tomorrow spots for day after tomorrow and uh, forward what is the forward when you uh, settle the transaction after day after tomorrow after day after tomorrow that is after t plus two working days that means beyond any spot any beyond any spot it is also called it is called as the forward transaction that means uh, in future we are doing the transaction that means after day after tomorrow if you are doing the transaction it is called as the forward transaction that is mean that is in future transaction and uh, generally it is the after t plus 2 working days up to t plus 2 it is called as the spot rate and after that we have to call it is as a uh, forward rate or forward transaction remember friends generally uh, there is a word uh, term you will uh, heard about the premium or the discount very simple just remember premium should be added or discount should be deducted just remember premium should be added and discount should be deducted from the spot rate for example suppose you are having one dollar is equal to 55 of rupees and if premium is given 0 0.5 you have to add in that right and suppose a discount is given a minus 0 0.5 you have to subtract the discount and just add the premium very simple so that's why uh, the rate uh, spot rate or the forward rate at the premium will be uh, will be higher than the spot rate because we are adding the premium and uh, in case of discount your spot rate will be less than the future rate because you are subtracting the premium from the spot rate just it is very very easy in case of premium we are adding and in case of discount we are deducting from the spot rate as we are adding in the premium uh, in case of premium so that's fine you will get the future rate will be more in case of discount you are subtracting that's why your future uh, rate will be less okay uh, that is the basic of the forward uh, in case of forward what is the premium and what is the discount just remember very very important i will again uh, give some brief about this uh, this is very very important friends uh, cash or ready that means today itself tom stands for tomorrow and uh, spot stands for day after tomorrow and a forward that means after day after tomorrow in case of premium add the premium in case of discount subtract the uh, discount 
okay in case of premium we are adding something that means you will receive more money in future than this portrait and in case of discount we are subtracting that's why your uh, in case of discount you are subtracting that means your future value will be less and spot rate that means today will uh, today's value will be more so you have to remember this premium should be added and discount should be deducted okay now what is very very important in case of uh, while you will so when you are going to solve the numerical that time you will need bank margin adjustment that time what is the margin of the bank or bank spread adjustment see friends the bank margin should be deducted from buying rate when you are buying what is our target buy low so just deduct and while selling you have to add that means sell high so add just remember buy so buy low it is common sense in our business we should buy at a low and sell at a high in case of direct quote okay while buying we should uh, deduct and while uh, selling we should add okay and uh, very very important while solving numerical uh, many people are commenting sir when should we add our uh, margin should be uh, adjusted after or before so remember we have to adjust the margin before the premium or the discount you have to remember we have to adjust the margin before premium or the discount so while solving numerical you will come to know when to adjust the margin generally the margin is adjusted before the adjustment of the premium or the discount okay friends simply margin in case of buying uh, it is uh, should be deducted subtracted and in case of selling it should be added now what is the bid rate and offer rate so friends it is very very important just to see what is when you do the bidding when you want to some buy something that time you will do bidding and when you offer something that means when you have to sell just very in, a, in a easy way bid rate it is nothing but the buying rate and offer rate it is nothing but the selling rate i am offering this pen at a 5 rupees that means we are offer it is the offer rate and uh, i want to buy this pen for a uh, 3 rupees that means it is the bidding rate or the buying rate so just see in simple words bid stands for buying rate offer stands for the selling rate so friends see here the interbank market rate are quoted as 1 us dollar is equal to 66.48 slash 62 that means see friends how you should read 1 us dollar is equal to 66.48 rupees and 66.462 rupees that means that the slash you have to remember it is two values 66.48 this is the first value and 66.62 is the second value right the first part uh, that is the 66.48 it 